okay so uh, okay uh, so what will be uh, see if if the if say we have the electromagnetic wave ex which is this green so, so, sorry. yes yes please slightly so, sorry so we have this green electric field right say it is ex not sign since it's the sign sir, sir slides nahi show re i just ek minute ek minute sorry so ki aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi thi mujhe ha sorry ab ab aa rahi hai slides acha dekhe for example uh for example we have the electromagnetic wave whose electric field is given here as this green field right uh which has the maximum value ex not okay ex not sign suppose ex not uh, let's i say i tell you it's 100 volts per meter just for example just for an example 100 volts per meter sign omega t plus minus gamma z uh if the wave is moving in positive z direction you get negative you get negative here okay if the wave is moving uh if the wave is moving in positive z direction you get negative here if the wave is moving in the other side direction the negative z okay if the wave is moving in the negative z you get positive here that's the only difference here right so say the wave is moving in positive z direction so you get negative here uh sin omega t omega is the frequency of the wave suppose it's say um frequency is 2.4 gigahertz suppose our wifi signal right so omega will be equal to 2 pi yeah. you can calculate that omega t minus gamma z so that's the electric field so how to find the magnetic field of this wave how to calculate the magnetic the magnetic field will be equal to h y not again the maximum value here sin omega baki cheeze same rahengi h y not sin omega t minus gamma z why gamma z because the wave is moving in positive z direction and the magnetic field will be in the y direction however this h y not will be equals to h y not will be equals to uh j gamma divided by omega mu e x not so you can calculate h y not just calculate it from this equation put it in this equation and you will be able to calculate the magnetic field intensity okay so it's so easy if you know one thing you can easily calculate the other one okay okay see uh, here is the electromagnetic wave right uh, see it's moving uh, this is the z direction right um, this uh, red red field in this diagram is the electric field the blue field in this diagram is the magnetic field it's moving in the z direction you can calculate the its frequency you can calculate many thing about the wave okay it might be the cos wave it might be the sine wave uh, and you can do many things about it okay if the electric field uh, is perpendicular to direction of propagation which is z direction we call that ex is transverse we say ex is transverse to z which is direction of propagation if magnetic field is h of y that will also be transverse to z so we can, we call this as the transverse electromagnetic wave if electric field is perpendicular meaning if the electric field is in x direction and the wave is moving in z direction so x is perpendicular to this so we say that electric field is transverse to the magnetic field so here is the equation of the transverse electromagnetic wave uh e transverse is ex not e gamma z right so what will be h transverse it will be hy not e gamma z 
right? And H Y naught is this thing. So sorry, this entire thing. Okay, and here you can make many things about your wave. So, so you can do many things about the electromagnetic wave if you know it. Um, you can calculate the uh, wavelength of the wave. If you know omega, you can calculate the frequency, you can calculate the wavelength, you can calculate the gamma terms. If you know the medium also, you uh, you, you, see, you literally can, can do many things about the electromagnetic wave. You can calculate the directions, you can calculate the phase velocity. Remember phase velocity epsilon, if you multiply, phase velocity was equal to how much? One over epsilon naught, epsilon r, mu naught, mu r, which was equal to three into 10 to the power eight meter per second divided by mu r, epsilon r. So you can do many things once if you, when you know, uh, when you have the electromagnetic wave, okay? Now, uh, to, to, to demonstrate the electromagnetic wave completely, right? With this gamma, you, you put the omega t term, right? To show this time variation in space, time movement, to, to show the time thing with the propagation of the wave. So then uh, we call this transverse wave, instead this transverse component, we, we talk about the entire wave. So E plane wave, E plane wave will have E X naught, E J omega T plus gamma Z. Okay, uh, this is just an example, right? Uh, this is the plane wave. I, as I said, if the wave is moving in negative Z, you put plus here. If the wave is moving positive Z direction, you get, uh, by the way, it's not the unit vector, it's the distance. Z is the distance. Z is distance traveled by wave, by electromagnetic wave in Z direction. Okay, so when the wave is moving in minus Z direction, uh, you put plus here when the wave is moving positive z direction, put minus here. This is a vector quantity. So now then you can also calculate the magnetic field of the plane wave. H y naught e j omega t plus gamma z. And it will be in the y direction. This will be in the x direction. Okay. And gamma, of course, you know, this is the gamma. So you can do many things once you, once you know these uh, few things. Okay, now uh, suppose uh, we take a case, say, say our medium is lossless. Say medium is say medium is lossless. When, when the medium will be lossless, by the way? We're trying to build a case. Okay, so when the medium will be lossless? For electromagnetic wave medium will be lossless. if it's electrical electrical conductivity electrical conductivity for electric current i so if uh, the em for em wave the medium will be lossless if its electrical conductivity sigma is zero okay so if that is zero so then in this gamma we put this thing equals to zero, conductivity zero. 
so gamma will then so gamma is alpha plus j beta when when conductivity is zero it implies alpha is zero alpha is the attenuation by the way uh, I, I hope you have a very good idea about the attenuation. Say the wave is moving in Z direction. Say I only draw its electric field. So this is only electric. Field. See, the electric field is losing its energy. Right? Electric field is losing its energy. This, this thing is called as alpha. Say this is the E X naught, right? This is Z direction. So if it's losing its energy, its magnitude is going down, alpha is, alpha is the attenuation, attenuation there. If alpha is zero, if attenuation is zero, the wave will never lose energy. When alpha is zero, the wave will never lose its energy, it will continuously move, okay? So it will never lose energy. So however, but however, say uh, if we have a lossless medium, alpha is zero, this is lossless. So gamma is only equal to J beta. Gamma is only equal to J beta because alpha is zero. Gamma is only equal to J beta, only phase constant, okay? And phase constant beta is two pi by lambda. Uh, what we mean by uh, beta equals to two pi by lambda, if say this is the wave and it changes its phase uh, by two pi, see, this is two pi. So if, uh, if a wave, again, if a wave changes its phase, by two pi, right? In one wavelength. In one wavelength, if the, uh, if the wave is changing the phase by two pi, it's called as beta, the phase constant. It means the wave is moving. It has energy and it's moving, okay? So whenever the wave moves, beta will be there, remember, okay? So here you can make few adjustments here in your, uh, in these equations on the equations you made previously. Okay, so beta, beta from the last page is omega from this page, beta is, beta is this thing, okay. Okay, and beta is also this thing, right? So you can do many things here. Okay, so go through these few uh, things, uh, look for the yellow equations and try to find out a few interesting things. So we calculated the beta, we calculate the lambda, right? Uh, what is the phase? The phase of the wave is this thing. This is the phase of the wave. You know that, okay? It's the phase, okay? Okay, this is a phase of the wave. So a phase of EM wave is beta, sorry, 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 o omega T plus minus, plus minus uh, gamma Z. Suppose a wave is moving in positive Z direction. Okay, so it will be, the phase will be equals to omega T minus gamma z. And suppose uh, the wave is moving in lossless medium. So gamma will be equals to beta. J beta actually, but you put it here as a beta. So omega t minus beta z. So this is the phase now. It's the phase of the wave. And a rate of change of phase is what? D by d t rate of change of phase equals to d by dt equals to omega t minus beta z. This thing equals to what? Rate of change of phase is what? 
velocity vp so you can calculate velocity here and you see you we we shown this equation previously also when we multiply the capacitance and inductance per unit length we get this similar thing okay so yaha se aap thoda sa isko dekh lijiye okay so from this equation the rate of change of the phase the rate of change of the phase is going to give you the phase velocity okay take the derivative of this equation on both side okay find out the value of z not the distance distance covered by wave and dz not by dzt this is the phase velocity omega by beta phase velocity so omega p the phase velocity is also equals to omega by beta so if em wave is given suppose ex not is say 100 sin omega t minus beta z okay suppose it's 100 sin omega is say uh, 10 to the power 9 or say 10 to the power 9t minus beta is say 0.1 z okay okay so omega t minus beta z okay so you can also calculate its phase velocity which is omega by 0.1 here is the phase velocity you can do that from here also because omega p is uh, v, omega uh, vp the phase velocity is omega by beta you can do many things you can do many things uh, you can also if this is the e x not you can also calculate it h y not sorry this is not ex not ex not is this thing this is ex not okay and this is not h y h y is this thing okay so knowing one thing you can calculate many many right so go through these uh, descriptions they are given here and uh, go through the units uh, units of all these parameters we just introduce like the beta the lambda the phase velocity go through their units okay see the units are always important remember these are always important go through them okay so i, I hope that uh, that uh, concludes this course as i said some of the derivation i didn't cover today Uh, there's one more very important thing this one more just like v equals to ir the ratio of v to i was r or say the impedance here the ratio of the electric field to the ratio of uh, the ratio of the electric field to the magnetic field is mu by epsilon and it's the intrinsic impedance eta okay okay the ratio is is it, it's also called as the wave impedance eta is intrinsic impedance of medium or the or wave impedance for free space for free space eta is mu by epsilon It's mu r mu not divided by epsilon r epsilon not which equals to mu not by epsilon not which if you calculate is 377 ohms for free space this is intrinsic impedance okay this is eta is the wave impedance okay there was another eta uh, which was the refractive index that was a different thing refractive index was 
equal to under root mu r epsilon r. That was a different thing, refractive index, okay? This is intrinsic impedance, a very similar, very similar symbol we use for both, but this was intrinsic or the wave, this one is the refractive. So with the refractive, I put ref ref in small as a subscript, okay? Any question to this point? No, sir, no questions. No questions. Uh, so I hope this concludes. Uh, go and practice and try to uh, build few cases, try to uh, make some numericals uh, based on these uh, values. You can also check some numericals from the book, from the exercise. But the most important thing in this course is to, uh, to understand Maxwell's equations, all the four Maxwell's equations. And uh, this was the first Maxwell equation. This is second, this one is the third one, this one is the fourth one. So these are so important, these equations. And remember, if you solve these two simultaneously, you get the electromagnetic wave. And remember, this was Faraday. Faraday's law of electricity. It, it was derived from Faraday's law, okay? This equation was derived from Faraday's law of electricity. So it's such a useful uh, uh, identity. It, it gives you two big things in this world. One is electricity, the other one is electromagnetic wave. The entire communication is based on electromagnetic wave. Okay, so lens uh, No. Uh -huh. uh, what the lens did? Lens basically introduced that negative sign in the Faraday's law. Let me go back uh, and uh, check the Faraday's law. I guess I was here. Yeah, here. This negative sign, this sign, this was introduced by lens. That's the only thing in the Faraday's law he did. Okay, he introduced this negative sign. Okay. Tika? Any question here? Any question? No, sir. Well, your next course will, uh, will basically start from these four equations. The wave propagation and antenna course. Okay. Again, uh, in that course, these four equations will be uh, repeated. So, so your task is to understand these four equations. Uh, as I said, uh, probably the biggest thing in, in this world, the biggest thing in science and technology, the equations which has many many applications and powerful applications are these four equations just in front of you. In say powerful equations, shayad science ne dekhe ho. Puri dunya mein governments ko highest tax jo pay or hai, wo probably in equations ki wajah se ho raha hai because they have two biggest applications, two biggest systems. One is the electricity, the other one is telecommunication, and they all they both are based on the third and fourth Maxwell equation, and in fact the first two also for electricity and. Uh, Static and ma magnetic, electric and magnetic fields. The first one is coming from Gauss law, if you remember. So, so the biggest things in uh, so, so just memorize these four equations. They, these four equations should be every time in your mind. Understand them, read them again and again and again and many times, right? Uh, see many many applications of these four equations. There are there are uh, uncountable system based on these four equations like. Uh, like the sunlight, like the um, uh, MRI, and you, you name the system, you will find some sort of applications of these, like the machines, like the like many, many you have. So these four equations, they should be part of your life. Uh, they should be everywhere around you. You should always think about them, uh, how they uh, govern the laws of electricity and telecommunications. Uh, 
see the uh, we just highlighted the how powerful are the third and the fourth equations the maxwell and it's going to give us the complete wave propagation concept and see uh, this day it's the wave which is doing everything for us they mix it uh, they are processed by the system then so 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 put them on your wallpapers and put them everywhere around you right if you are a mayor of your city put them on the walls right in the marketplaces in the streets put them on your shoulders as tattoos if you if you like them right put them on your shirts print them on your coffee cups if you like them right put them on the beds bed sheets right so it's really uh, the importance of these four equations uh, and you 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 have to keep these equations everywhere around you you have to keep you have to think about them again and again and again read read about them as much as you can and find some fascinating applications of these four equations okay any question here no sir no? so i hope uh, <laughs> this this was a little interesting but i i, I hope the, the, uh, this was very useful right these four uh, equation maxwell equations and uh, uh, I was un unable to uh, work out a few derivations, but I will strongly recommend, if you have the time, uh, go through those derivations. Uh, I'll be uploading the derivation uh, page also with this lecture. So go through those derivations if you have the time and uh, read this lecture very carefully. And remember, I have, uh, I have uh, 